Seymour Stein is a very unique individual because he started uh, in, the in the early phase of, of rock music. He bridges an industry that grew up in the 40s and he bridges that all the way into today. I think he's one of those record executives that all, every other record executive knows. He's one of the few people that I love watching him listen to music. He brings that at any moment something is possible. I knew I wanted to be in the music business, but I had no idea of what the music business was. I just loved music. It all started at Billboard. I was there every day after school, reading the Billboard from back as far as the late 1930s and writing down the charts. I learned everything and I met people. He has this vast reference, musical reference. You know, he was a writer before um, he actually became a music executive. He came from a tradition of distribution and promotion. It was only afterwards that he realized he had this ability to recognize um, talent. The Ramones, I heard of them from people who I, I valued and trusted, but I was always away, I couldn't hear them. I asked my, my wife to go down there and she said, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. The following week, uh, we set up uh, an audition for him where it was just uh, the Ramones and him. We played our set and uh, we had a recording contract. The phone rings and it's Johnny Ramone. He says, we know that you got nothing on Wednesday night, so we booked ourselves into CBGB's. I said, oh, oh, by, by the way, what's the opening act? The night that he heard the Talking Heads for the first time, me and him were outside of CBGB's and he heard this song from the inside and it impelled him in to uh, essentially discover the talking heads. I rushed the stage when they finished, that tiny little stage, and here's this fragile looking girl. He asked me if I needed some help with my equipment. And I said, oh no, 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 I, 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 can't, I can't accept any help. I said, I'm Seymour Stein from Sire Records. Oh, I'm, I've got to have you on my label. You know, I was like a babbling idiot. We eventually ended up making a deal with him because he really was the guy who understood our band better than anyone else. I know Madonna has fond um, feelings for Seymour, we all do. And, you know, the, all the, the famous stories of how he signed her from his hospital bed. I was in the hospital for two weeks, uh, just on a drip. I was in those hospital pajamas with the slit up my ass. In the hospital, she wanted him to sign her right then and there. There's no question that this was not just a cutting-edge artist, but this was an artist whose sales were spectacular worldwide, household name. It brought him as well, I think, to another level. Yo, is let's do this. When I met Seymour, it felt like I was, you know, in the Wizard of Oz when you go behind you know, when Dorothy went behind the wall and got a little guy running the big monster. I expected to see some real ominous record executives, powerful. I mean, I had heard he signed Madonna. I had heard all his accolades. First thing he said to me, he's like, I, oh my God, you have the most beautiful eyes. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> One of the things that made Sire great was basically they knew when they had something good and tried very hard not to mess with it. He never, ever said, don't do it, don't try it. He never said, no, you can't. That's it, they let you be the artist. And the thing of it is, how do you A&R Ice-T, then A&R the Ramones, then A&R Ministry, then A&R the Talking Heads? How do you do it? Two of my favorite artists of all time are The Smiths and Depeche Mode. He signed both. I mean, the guys had so much to do with my life. He managed to have a very good time, and thanks to him, we also had a very good time. He respects music as an art. Artists feel comfortable, safe with him because they know that he's one of them. He's a treasure. He's an American treasure. He's the, one of the most talented a and people I've ever met in my life. Music man, he's a music man. Mm -hmm.